Hey, I'm Dustin Wade Mills, and you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Frightmare. This is from Vinegar Syndrome, and it's directed by Norman Thaddeus Vane. This movie is about this guy named Conrad Radzoff, who is like this old-time horror movie star, kind of along in the lines of like Christopher Lee type, Vincent Price type one of those. And nowadays he, he ends up dying of a heart attack, and this local horror movie club, you know, gang, they end up stealing his corpse out of his mausoleum. They want to have a party with him, and they want to celebrate him and everything. And what they really don't know is that he was into the dark arts, so eventually his body does come back and starts killing them one by one. So this is from 1981, but it didn't come out until 1983. And this Frightmare is not to be confused by the Frightmare that came out in the 70s. It's totally a different movie. Same name, different movie. This also goes by the movie, the title, The Horror Star, which I don't really care for. I think Frightmare sounds a lot better, even though there is another one out there with the same title. But again, this one... Totally different from the one in the 70s. But uh, Conrad Radzoff, yeah, he's kind of like a, like I said, Vincent Price type of person. And he's very snobbish and everything. And But his fans love him. And like I said, they want to party with him. And, and it's like these like typical like uh, college kids and that. And uh, they bring him to the house. They want to party with him. And they, they drink and dance and smoke and do all this kind of stuff with them. And... And, you know, they don't know what's going to happen to them, obviously. And uh, in a way, they kind of get what's coming to them because the shit they do and say and, uh, you know, just stealing a corpse in general, it's like, oh, you know, so they kind of have it coming to them in, in a way. But, you know, it, you kind of feel bad. It's it's like, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a slasher. It's not really a slasher. It's like this when this Conrad comes back, he has, like, these powers and he does a lot of things without even being in the room like you see like his eyes it's kind of like in a way i guess in a way tribute to like the old time like bella lugosi where because he's even going around kind of dressed like bella lugosi in this and he you see the eyes like a, you know like you know uh like dracula and you just see like something happen to somebody and like he wants something to happen to them and or like something floating and, and hitting them you know it's kind of in a way i don't really like that how they do that but then the end result of the kill kind of makes up for it like people get set on fire decapitations head crushing stuff like that uh you know some really gross things not gross like it's gonna gross you out but like you know horrible ways to die i wouldn't exactly say any of the teens in this either um are likable because like i said they they get what the, what's coming to them maybe toward the end you kind of start feeling a little bad for them the movie has a you know pretty eerie kind of score to it as well and it adds to the you know the scene like when you hear the score going while the scene is like somebody getting decapitated and then you see like the head rolling slowly and there's a lot of slow motion stuff I get, and, and it doesn't ruin anything either like you think like oh if they slow it down it ruins it and it really doesn't um you you it's almost like you get to see the whole thing happening slowly because it's not like quick oh she's on fire or whatever you know it's like you get to see it happening and, and it it doesn't take anything away from it at all and even again being cleaned up it, it doesn't take anything away from it I mean obviously I don't think it would look too re I wouldn't don't think it would look any more real on VHS than it does on here but you know because you could tell that it's not a real person's head or whatever but uh, it's just it's just uh, you know it's done very well just like the music matches the scene perfectly i thought it was like it almost made it very disturbing to me in a way like uh very i want to say trippy in a way it was very um out of body kind of 
feeling in a way. I don't know. And that's really a weird way to say it, but I, I can't really explain it. I guess you have to see it through my eyes to really understand what I'm trying to say. But it just, it just had this like weird feeling watching it, like. Like as if it's like you know normal slash it's like da -da -da, you know it happens and they're dead and it's like oh shit you know holy shit how did look at how they got, died or whatever and this it's like it, it it goes on a little longer than it should I guess and not like where they should have cut it but like they made the scene go on and it works I don't know but it works. Movie actually has a young Jeffrey Combs in this as well, and it is only four years before Reanimator came out. But for some reason, he looks incredibly young in this. Very smooth face, thin, uh, energetic. You know, smoking, uh, just a funny guy, and it's weird. To, like it's a totally different character compared to like you know, um, you know his character in Reanimator, and uh, it it's. And again, he looks so much younger for some reason. I don't know, but he he's he has a small part in it, but like he's still a main one of the main one of the kids. I say kids, but one of the one of the uh, you know people that took him. In fact, the only reason he was cast in this movie was actually because he's a brunette, and I don't want to say why, because that will ruin a part of the movie for you. So after you see the movie, you know check out IMDB and you'll see why so yeah like I said the transfer looked good 2k transfer and the the uh, captions are good as well I always put captions on everything was fine heard everything fine good sound to it and uh, you know like I said picture quality look re very very good so now I'll show you what's inside here all right here on the inside we have the blu-ray with the Frightmare cover on it and then the DVD with the Horror Star cover on it and I'll show you both covers right now oh and they are also region free like I said here's the Frightmare cover pretty cool uh, from far away I thought those were like bugs or spiders but they're hands you know and then you got the back here with some pictures and that and uh, you know the spine here Frightmare I like that and on this side you have the horror star with that cover all that and the spine definitely not a fan of that uh, I like I like this much better and uh, the, here you have the extras like I said and I'll put that there for you and if you want to pause that and check it out you can right now and to be honest you know I, I thought the movie was okay I, I thought it was pretty good uh, I wasn't blown away by it. I'd probably watch it sometime in the future, but um, I wasn't overly impressed. I didn't, it wasn't a movie that I want now. Like now, sometimes I get a movie on Blu-ray, and I think, you know, I don't have that on VHS. I'd like to get a VHS copy of that as well, and you know, see the older edition of it. And I probably wouldn't want to do that with this, to be honest. Uh, there's some that I don't. And this is probably one of them. Uh, again, I wouldn't not see watch this again. But if I never did, I'd be okay with that, if that makes any sense. Uh, but again, it's still not a bad movie. I didn't, again, I always say this too, like I don't feel like I wasted my time. And if I say that, I, in other words, I think it's worth a, at least one watch. And, uh, you know, it's not a bad movie. But it's not anything amazing. But it's cool to see Jeffrey Combs. It's a cool story. So eerie sounds, uh, soundtrack. You know, um, if you want to see some people get killed, some teens get killed. Here you, hey, you know, here's another one of those movies. But uh, yeah, so for again, this was a first time watch for me as well. So I had no idea what was what I was getting into. But now I saw it. So. That's it everybody, thanks for watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, follow me on any one of the social media links below, if you're interested in purchasing this, I'll put a link below where you can go check it out, also I'll put a trailer below, you can check that out as well, but I always say this, proceed with caution, there may be some spoilers, maybe, I don't know, 
But other than that, that's everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.